Yesterday we told you Rush Limbaugh is attacking Sandra Fluke. She's the woman who uh, was not allowed to um, go in front of the House committee talking about contraception. It was an all-male panel. They shut her out. She wanted to talk about how it was health concerns uh, relating to contraception. In fact, we had her on the Young Turks on the current TV show, and she told us that story before anyone else. And now Rush Limbaugh went on the attack. First, this is what he said. What does it say? about the college co-ed Susan Fluke who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex. What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? Makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. She's having so much sex she can't afford the contraception. She wants you and me and the taxpayers to pay her to have sex. What does that make us? We're the pimps. The Johns. That's right. We would be the Johns. No! We're not the John. Well, <laughs> uh, well uh, yeah, that's right. Pimp's not the right word. Okay, so she's not a slut. She's round healed. I take it back. I don't think Rush Limbaugh knows what a slut is. <laughs> Like oh, he, I think he's familiar. <laughs> I think he's found some in his time, but I, I don't. You no, know, his point. I mean, he's like she wants to get paid to have sex. That, that, that makes her a hooker. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> make you a slut. But maybe he confused the two things because then he got bogged down in the John pimp discussion. Right. But, but he confused slut and and hooker because anytime any woman has been willing to have sex with him, it was a hooker. <laughs> so. He's like, I don't know, when are you going to tell me I have sex? It's a, it's a slut, a hooker, right? <laughs> so uh, the next day, Rush Limbaugh doubles down. Let's watch. So Ms. Fluke and the rest of you feminazis, here's the deal. If we are going to pay for your contraceptives and thus pay for you to have sex, we want something for it. And I'll tell you what it is. We want you to post the videos online so we can all watch. That is the single creepiest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I mean, how much of a pervert does it make him? She's a college student. Yeah, she's a college student. By the way, first, well, I'm sure you talked about this yesterday. Her name's Sandra Fluke, not Susan Fluke. <laughs> no, of course so not. So we'll start with that, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, no, but he's, t like, people say, no, no, yeah, he went to rehab for 28 days, he's fine. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure he is. Okay. <laughs> I mean, and he gets constantly confused. He's like, John, pimp, Susan, Sandra, I don't know, but I want to watch it online. Where is it? Somebody get me my Viagra. So he's a gross pervert, and it's super obvious. So you know what happened? Advertisers started pulling out. So uh, first, sleep train, gone. Because people are saying, hey, look, you, you want to get behind this guy? This is ridiculous. A lot of people are pressuring pro flowers. They're like, I'm sending flowers to my mom. What's sleep train? I don't know, but it's, here's who's not on the sleep train anymore, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> okay. So you said sleep train like you knew exactly what it was. No, no, no. idea. Okay, but now that they're off the Rush Limbaugh program, I'm thinking about finding get, out. Getting the sleep train. Getting right. on that sleep train. All aboard. <laughs> choo choo. I've been doing that a lot with my son lately. Anyway, choo choo. He loves it. He's like, oh, Baba, do it again. Okay. One more. More. Okay. Anyway, so then today's the third day. Guess what he did? Tripled down. Yeah, bingo! <laughs> Triple down. So he comes out and he uh, talks about how um, her parents should be embarrassed mm -hmm. and they shouldn't be proud of her and, uh, and talked about how boyfriends might be uh, lining around the block uh, for Sandra Fluke and that she's having so much sex that she, you know, along the lines of what he first said. She had so much sex that she found times to test her, to prepare and testify in front of the United States Congress. Right. Yeah. Now, by the way, she testified about health concerns and how contraception yeah. can help with that, et cetera. I, I, don't, know any, do I don't know anything about her mm -hmm. or her parents. Uh, I guarantee you her parents are proud of her. Yeah. Enormously proud of her. Right, and, and part of the reason he's saying that is because President Obama called Sandra Fluke after all of this, and he said, look, you know, the comments against you were inappropriate, and I'm glad you spoke out, and, I'm sh and he said, I'm sure your parents must be proud that, you know, you showed this kind of courage, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So that's why Rush takes a slap at her parents, and he says... Like he wouldn't have anyway. I mean, right. he might well have anyway. Right? Yeah, s certainly. And, uh, and I think the president definitely did the right thing by... Uh, I'm, so, I'm amazed that Rush hasn't thought that the president called her to ask her out. 
Like I would think he would have gone that route. It, it, because of projection, because obviously he's interested in some totally. crazy, weird, perverted way, right? If I were a hateful, awful guy like that, I would have I would have taken advantage of that situation. Talking about the boyfriends lined up around the block. Just right. a little little tip there for Rush for and, for for Monday's show. Yeah, believe me, that'll be coming. Yeah. No, no question about that. So. Uh, and then he said, oh, you know, for her to be having so much sex that she needs $3,000 worth of contraception. Okay, no, she just, the, the, she's talking about all students, how they, contraception can help them, especially if you don't want them to get pregnant, which is a huge problem for college kids if they get pregnant, because then you've got, you know, unwanted kids, or you've got abortion, all these things that Republicans claim they don't want, right? But they hate contraception. This is a, so this is an admission on several different fronts. One, we hate contraception. Two, we think any woman who's having sex outside of marriage is a slut. Three, we'd like to watch it. 